What's good, YouTube? Back with another video, and this is a video I didn't want to make, but I felt like I had to make it. You see the title, man. Black wealth, African American wealth may reach, or well, may fall to zero by 2053. Now that is sad. Let's read this article. You can have a glamorous six-figure salary, advanced degrees, and executive title, large corporation, title at a large corporation, and still be impacted by the negative net worth virus that is prevalent in the black community. So what that means for all you dummies is that just because you got a good job and you work here and there, you don't own nothing. So it don't really mean nothing because they could stop fucking paying you. I got a curse today. They could stop paying you, and now you're dead. You don't own nothing. You don't own no stocks. You don't own no real estate. You don't own no bonds. You don't own nothing. All motherfuckers do is take that paycheck and go party. Like, I try to tell my people, like, man, we got to start owning stuff, bro. Own something. But everybody think I'm a lunatic talking about this at the age of 20. But let's keep going. Uh, the median wealth of black Americans will fall to zero by 2053. How that make, like, 2053, I'll be about 53 years old. And I'm damn sure going to have a net worth over zero. I know that for a fact because it's over zero now. For decades, we've been told that education is the great equalizer, unfortunately, more Education does not automatically translate to more household wealth in black communities. So college graduates and all that still don't own no assets, no land, nothing, no businesses, nothing. On top of that, student loan debt has student loan debt has delayed the wealth building dreams of many educated African Americans. The National Center for Education Statistics noted that an estimated 77.7 .7 of black students borrow federal student loans to pay for higher education, as opposed to 57.5 of white students. Studies continuously show that black students are more likely to go in debt in order to live the dream of walking across the stage as a college graduate. But Trump just not too long ago passed some bill or law that you really don't even need that uh, diploma no more from college. So people are still taking out these loans to do jobs you don't need it. I have a relative that does a job. He doesn't have a degree, and there's people he makes more money in, and they have a degree. Let that sink in. Let's keep going. Going to college is the first business decision many people will make right you don't go to college to build wealth you go to college to network so you can generate higher income producing opportunities so college is really at this point if you ain't going to become a doctor or an engineer or something you just did a network so let's keep going Whatever. uh yeah there is no doubt about it education has helped many african americans improve their socioeconomic status and gain access to many excuse me many of of the luxuries of life studies show that education has proven to increase earning potential but income gain for pursuing higher education is undercut when you have to take out large sums of student debt without a plan yeah that's crazy right there let's go here this right here is sick. This right here is sick. Come on, Wi-Fi. Don't do it to me now. Man, it's going to be one of the longest videos I've done, done. So if you're here, like the video, share the video, subscribe. Even if you don't subscribe, I have to do this. $35,000 compared to the white man. This is not no racism or nothing. This is just for my people to understand. 
$150,000 compared to the other side. You feel what I'm saying? 35000 is savings. People could, you could save that. 150000 that's wealth. You don't just save 150000 Unless you got a high, high paying job. You had to store that money somewhere for it to, to get there. That is sick. Considered 2.3 million to be rich. But this right here, man, is sickening. 35K is the average median net worth of a black household. And the average the average pay in America is 50,000. So that means most people have about a year and a half worth of pay saved up. No, about half a year. Yeah, no, a year and a half, yeah. Man, we got to do better. Like, the, what I learned from uh, Wall Street Trapper and other guys I watch is that the stock market is the easiest, not the easiest, but it's the first stepping stone that us black people can get into to build wealth. Low barrier to entry. We in the age of technology. You can just Google how to make money. And I guarantee you, stocks is going to pop up. Dividend stocks. Stuff like that. Me right now, I'm just, I'm still just a newbie at all this. But I just took the risk and bought myself my first option. I might lose, I might win. But I, I'm not going to sit here. And rely on a job for the rest of my life, bro. That's just not what I'm going to do. But, man, you know, I, y'all probably not even going to make it this far in the video anyway. But African-Americans, my brothers, my sisters, period, anybody, man, we got to do better. 35000 is the average. And the average American don't even have $1,000 saved. So this right here might just be false. But just looking at that, I know a lot of people that done been up 10 racks, homies and all, and lost it, bro. Not lost it, but you ain't do nothing with it, bro. You could have bought a house, bro. Put that down payment down, bro. Stop relying on that job, bro. They could fire you any day, bro. You can get sick and not be able to come in, bro. But that asset going to stay paying you something, bro. But, man, that's the video, man. Y'all like, subscribe, share. Do what y'all gonna do. Ain't too much to say, man, but do better. Man, I ain't gonna be corporate slave all my life. Like, I'm not shaming nobody with a job. Me, personally, I'm looking for another job. Because I know that's a stepping stone for me. I have a plan. I'm not just working just to work. But, you know, man. I'm out of here, bro. Peace.